Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn how we can create a live weather app, right? So to get the data of weather in runtime, we need an API. So you can go to this website openweathermap.org. There you can get the free API keys, right? So what you need to do, you need to create your account and once the account is created, you will get the API keys here. So these are the default API keys that you can use for it. So how you can actually call this API? You just need to uh, click on this API here, API tab, then scroll down a bit. Then we need the current weather data, right? So we'll go to the API doc and see how we can call this API. So just go to this built-in API request by city name because we are going to uh, get the temperature and all data with the city name. So just click it there. Now you see this is the base URL which can fetch you the weather data, right? So we can copy that. By default, the temperature unit would be Kelvin. You can set it to Celsius and Fahrenheit as well. So how you can do that? In addition to the above URL, you can actually add this units and what are the available units? Standard, metric and imperial and what are the meanings of that? For temperature in Fahrenheit, you need units as imperial for Celsius, metric and by default it is Kelvin. So we will add the Celsius one, right? Metric one. So I have already copied the URL from here, right? Copy this and then Let's create our Python file, get weather data dot py, right? Now we have an URL for accessing URL. You need another module called request. So we will install that first. Open CMD and type in pip install request. This is already installed in my case. So you can install it and start using it. First, what we will do, we will import request, right? And then we will copy the URL inside a F string, right? We want to provide the city name and API key, and then we are good to go, right? So for city name, Let's create a variable and start with New Delhi. I want to check the temperature of New Delhi first. So let's change this name here. And for API key also, we need a variable. We can change this. Right. I already told you how you can get the API keys. So let's copy that, go to the profile section and then my API keys. Then copy these. Whenever you will create your account, you will get the default keys. So you can use these keys, right? Then copy these keys here in API keys variable. So now city name and API keys are available, right? And we want to add the units also. We want the data in Celsius, not in Kelvin. So what we can do and units equals to metric, right? This is what we saw there, right? Now we want to run this URL, right? So how you can run this? Let's take a variable response is equals to request dot get URL, right? What is the response of this uh, URL, whether it is success or it failed, right? So how you can get that data with the status code? You can check the status code. If it is 200, it means your response is successful, right? So let's see your request is successful. If response dot status code is equals to equals to 200 and then print if it is 200 then print yes we hit 
right save this and run this yes we hit it means our url is successful right now we want to fetch the data out of it so how we can fetch the data let's give it a variable data equals to response dot json right you can get the data in json format or xml format that you can define and using the api documentation you can do that right currently we are going with the default one json right let's print this data how it is coming right control s and run this now you can see whole data is coming here in the dictionary format right so this is your weather key this is coordinate key this is your base key then you have temperature here inside the main key right so let's uh, fetch out description temperature and feels like temperature and then the humidity also we will have the humidity somewhere here here we have the humidity right to get the axis of description you are seeing this is inside a list right let's see i want to fetch the data of weather so now we can print like this control s run this so you can see you have a list here okay to access the element of this dictionary you need to call it using the zeroth index right now save this you can see you have the access to dictionary also now now you just need the description so we'll type the description and then see what is coming inside so uh, this description is missed okay so this is the data so we can type it as weather is missed right now we want to fetch the temperature so how we can fetch the temperature print data of mean right we were having the data somewhere here for the temperature here this one so we can call it using this key mean and then inside mean we have temp right so we can call the temp also right run this so you have 26.09 so we can type it as current sorry it should be inside strings current temperature is right run this so we have current temperature is 2609 okay then we can get the data feels like the temperature 26 but how does it feel like how much it feels like so what we can do let's copy this only current temperature feels like i can type it as feels like is now instead of temperature we now need to type feels like here copy this and run this now you can see current temperature feels like 26.09 it is the same feeling you can see that here right now we want to fetch the humidity also we can copy the same let me clear this out just a second let me clear this out cls now we need to type the humidity right and then run this now you can see in new delhi weather is missed current temperature is 26.09 it feels like 26.09 and instead of current temperature current humidity we need to type this humidity humidity is now run this humidity is 100 right now i want to change the 
city name let's suppose this is agra now let's check for agra city name run this now you can see weather is light rain it's raining in agra right now also current temperature is 27.72 but it feels like it is 31 degree and humidity is 82 right so this is how you can get the current data of any city so this is how you can create your weather app thank you